Hello gorgeous Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Guidance for Capricorn please spirit. Guidance and messages for Capricorn please come through now. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to filter all the messages through your own intuition. An image on one of the cards may stand out for you or a message on one of the cards. The meaning of the card may stand out for you and have a message that feels relevant for you at this time. So take notice of those things. That is how spirit speaks to you. Guidance for Capricorn, please, spirit. Guidance and messages for Capricorn. Your energy, Capricorn, and the energy around you for the week so let's take a look at your first card okay so we have the energy of purification by purifying your life of negative people places and experiences you attain a true peace this is a very high vibrational card capricorn and i'm seeing that there is a beautiful newness a beautiful purification, um, a letting go of, as it says on this card, people, places, experiences, situations that no longer serve you. It's time for you to cleanse yourself of those energies and to move forward into the light where you belong, because I feel that your light is being diminished somehow and you're, you're, you are really in need of this purification. You may like to cleanse your area um, where you're living, your home, your office, um, your space, your body it may be helpful. Look at your chakra system and look at cleansing and purifying that system as well. You may be purifying your diet. Um, you will notice um, you may have a plan for this purification going into the week or, or you may realize what it is throughout the week. But it's just an energy that is um, really important to and, and, and highlighted this week for you, Capricorn. Let's take a look at this card. We have the energy of emotional tapestry. The inner workings of your emotions is a delicate tapestry, weaving growth, awareness and wisdom into your life. So complex emotions, complex emotions about someone around a situation maybe multifaceted, what's happening, what's what's happened in the past, what's going on now. And you're going to be more aware than ever of the inner workings of your own emotions, which is ultimately going to be um, very helpful for you, Capricorn, to move forward in an emotional, stable way. And it will help bring through the purification that is needed um, in your life, in whatever area of life this is for you. You are not alone, Capricorn. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. This is a reminder, Capricorn, that you have spiritual protection, that you have spiritual guides, that you are not alone spiritually speaking even if you feel alone in the world there is such a powerful angelic presence around you right now you may also feel a passed over loved one getting closer to you or you may receive some signs or symbols um, messages associated to a passed over loved one this week you may also feel the need to reach out to or you may want to reach out to a family member or a friend this week. And if this is this may be someone else as well, I'm just receiving that message where you may feel that you are need to reach out to someone because you're sensing that they feel alone and that they need a company or reassurance or comfort in some way. We have the angel of mother love. So 
your mother because we did tap uh, on the energy tap into the energy of passed over loved one there may be a mothering or mother energy around you in spirit yourself may be a mother there may be a focus on children um, or someone who has had a mothering influence on you or is the archetype of mother in your life there is an energy here of nurturing guiding and support and love and so you may be putting that energy into a project say in the workplace or in your home life you may be nurturing uh, yourself and mothering yourself perhaps um, there is a sense of um, growth and and growth and and caring and nurturing in an area of your life which um, which may need it uh, to grow and to be fulfilling the seven of angels and the key word here is progress you are making progress although perhaps it has been slow progress to do with communication with someone there seems to be a block or a barrier or an enclosed energy where you feel trapped or you're not sure whether you should reach out to someone or not. With these energies combined, I'm going to say it's important to reach out or it's important to, um, to connect. And this will bring through the progress that you're wanting. The Knight of Trees custodian energy very serene energy you have lots of roots going out so you ha you have a grounded energy this week which is wonderful I'm seeing a strong connection to spirit with this flame coming out of the crown chakra you may be a custodian for a child or for someone um, for a youth someone um, or someone you may be a custodian or a carer in some respect mm, that energy is coming through very strongly in this read let's take a look at your next card the nine of hearts is stability the nine of hearts is the wish card of the deck so this is always a pleasant surprise and um, a nice card to see um, it does mean that your your desires, your wishes, your prayers, your intentions for manifestation are going to come through into reality. So if your intention is for stability, if it is for um, becoming closer to a spirituality or grounding yourself, then that's coming through. If it's about around progress, then you're going to achieve that you'll know what um, what it is that you are hoping for here beautiful the four of stars is advancement and this often means advancement in the workplace or in business it can also mean advancement in a relationship going to the next level in a relationship you may be moving in together you may be saying I love you you may be I'm getting married okay so there is an advancement in a relationship for some of you this card also represents it also represents advancement of your own insight into something or someone maybe in, into yourself and your true desires and that's going to be very profound for you as well if that resonates I'm seeing that this star energy here and so I'm seeing that you are being guided by an outside force here and whether you know it or not you are being guided um, by spirit yes you're being guided by spirit there with this beautiful star I'm also seeing that you have a clear intention um, towards someone or a clear you're quite clear about how you feel about someone or something wow I love it the energy of success the six of stars yes you're going to be successful in what you are wanting to 
progress toward what you're wanting to achieve. You're going to be victorious. There's advance, there's progress, there's advancement, and then there's success. So you may see it come to culmination this week, or you may see that you're on the path and this is confirmation that you will achieve the success that you want, especially with this stability of the nine of hearts. Really beautiful reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.